Hello folks, I'm Callus, and welcome to my series of the Elder Scrolls Legends. This is episode number three. If you're new around here and you enjoy what you see, please consider supporting the channel by hitting the like button and subscribing to be notified when the next video is released. In this series, I hope to show how to play the game from the beginning now that I have a better understanding of how this game works. So let's get to it. We are beginning this episode with choosing a card. This is a reward from the last battle in the previous episode. If you haven't seen it, uh, I suggest you really should go watch the entire playlist from the beginning. So our choice is a one cost action steel simtar and when we play it we will give one of our characters a plus two and plus two or we have a one cost action uh, called execute and when played it will destroy an enemy creature with two power or less so this game is a lot about strategy and this card while it can be an instant kill it is definitely a one-time use where this one's a one-time use but if we put it on the right minion of ours we can get more than one use out of it so I'm gonna pick the steel simtar Mercy can be a profitable virtue. And rewards also. We have a two cost item. This is Legion Shield. It is also guard. And uh, plus one, plus three. What the guard means is that enemies must attack this card first. We have a two cost Kavach soldier with a two three and guard as well. Dominion guards. Halt! We are looking for a rogue blade who matches your description. There must be some misunderstanding. What kind of misunderstanding? The kind where you thought we'd come quietly. Will not come quietly. This little eye here means that there are special conditions for this battle, so let's see what they are. Special conditions. Your opponent begins this battle with an Altmer protector in each lane. Okay, let's play. The Dominion troops have two guards already in position. That seems a bit redundant, but... Now, both of their cards are guards. As you can see, they say guard, but guard is also indicated by the gold plaque that is around the card. We have one Magica, so let's play our one cost card. And luckily... Oh, in the name of the Jarl. Our opposing, our opponent's guard has no attack. By the ancestors, I will never surrender. Guards must be destroyed before you can attack other enemies in their lane. Yes. So we can. Give him a buff with the steel star and go destroy so. the guard. Oh. And we'll pass our turn. We have no other cards we can play. Child's play. Okay, we have three mana to play. So we will play the Imperial Legionnaire. Awaiting your command. And go smack our opponent in the face so. for four points. I could kill this card, but it would be an even trade, and I'm not ready to trade yet. You have no idea the power I weave. Yeah. 
Child's play! Now this turn, we have the opportunity to play a guard. Awaiting orders. And we could buff it, but we're not going to. We're gonna play our orc clansman. Take on my clan, you take on me! And we'll buff him with that card. So now they have to kill off this guard before they can attack any of the minions here or hit me in the face. So let's For go honor hit them in the face. Glory. Their it guard's gone. So. We can do that. Child, no. You have no idea the power I weep. Lies of Loki. Their time grows short. Looks like they've got another guard up and ready. We have five points to play. So let's play the Huntsman. Bondar curse you! Use his ability to kill that card off. <sighs> then we will play our Skin Greg Patroller. Their deaths will bring glory to the Empire. And I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but you can only, when there's two lanes like this, you can only have four cards in each lane. So we need to take care of the guard first. So this is going to be trading cards. <gasps> then we we'll go ahead and put three in the glory. face. And that's the end of our turn. Their time is at an end. On your guard. Okay, so we have to take about think about taking out their guard again. So, do we have anything that can buff it? Or buff one of our cards? Not really, so let's deal one damage to all enemies. No. And now, we can Fold take out the guard with this card. No. Oh. And what else can we do? We can play the shield over here on this card to give it a guard. That means they have to attack it. For Their honor turn. and glory. Now you'll pay. And we'll smack him in the face. We're out of Magicka. So we'll pass the turn. You have no idea the power I weave. By the ancestors, I will never surrender. Okay, we have seven Magicka. So we'll play. I'm ready for anything. Seven points for the cards. They don't have a guard, so for we'll go finish glory. the battle. Yay! We leveled up. stuff from now on. So card upgrade, we have a four cost 3-3 three, three Hive Worker. And we get to choose between a four cost 3-6 with Guard or a four cost 6-3 with Breakthrough. Now Breakthrough uh, means excess damage is dealt to the opponent's face. Breakthrough is nice to have, but so is a guard because defense. So we're going to pick the defensive route. At least this time. Okay, three more cards. Willpower, that's the yellow. Willpower runs over its foes with strength of numbers. We've got a six cost beast the senshi tiger it's a four seven it's four attack seven health with guard common card this one here in the middle glow on purple purple means it is epic 
it, it is a support card. It's ongoing. It means friendly creatures have plus zero, plus one. It costs four mana magic to play it. Then the card on the right, a two cost, three two card. It is rare, that's why it is blue. And when summoned, another creature will gain. When we summon another creature while this card is in play, we will gain one health. Okay, so let's continue. On to the next chapter. They chose to avoid the roads, but of course, the wilderness has its own dangers. <laughs> Okay, we have special conditions for this battle again. It says both lanes in this battle are shadow lanes. Okay, let's play. The game should explain what the shadow lanes are. The cover of night conceals the wolves. You can't attack them until they show themselves. Keep your guard, or these wolves will tear us apart from the shadows. Okay. Shadow lane, shadow lane. I'm sure the game's going to tell us, but I'll just read it too. Uh, creatures entering the shadow lane gain cover and can't be attacked for one turn. Creatures played to a shadow lane gain cover for a turn. Creatures with cover can't be attacked. Yeah, what he said. Pass the turn. Now our imp is out of cover, but our opponent's minion is still in cover. We have two points magicka, so let's play Their this card. Their will bring glory to the empire. Use our imp to hit him in the face. Pass the turn. We have three Magicka and three cards, but we can only play one of them because it's the only one that's cost low enough to be able to play. Hold in the name of the Yarl. So, we need to think about you know, they've got two opponents over here that both do one damage each, and this card here only has a defense of two, so it'll take two of those cards to take this one out. That's usually considered a good trade. But in the meantime, yeah. smack him in the face. We've got leftover mana that we can't use, so we have to pass the turn. Support cards, once played, are permanent and provide ongoing benefits. Yes, this is true, and we will play that. Chimera, guide us! As you see, it buffed our defense of this card by one point. So let's go. We can't attack our opponent because he's still in the shadow. So it let's go smack so. him in the face. Okay, we need to do, we could play our Tusk Bristle back for five points, since that's how much Magicka we have, and he's got good offense, good defense. I see this card, it says uh, other friendly wolves have plus two, plus zero. So it's pretty important to get that off the board as soon as we can. So what we're going to do is play this card so that we can do that. Bonda curse you. And we don't have any more cards that we can play, so we'll pass the turn. Okay, 
so we have six points to play, and we are going to play our six cost Senshi Tiger as guard. Smack him in the face, face for three. Pass the turn. Blocking some of this damage over here on this side of the board. So we've got seven points to play. In this particular card, it says when you summon another creature, you gain one health. So we're going to play that. There's a play. There's always a play. Then we're going to play this card here, which is a guard over here. And hopefully block some of the damage we're taking from these guys. Then we are going to use the tiger to smack our opponent in the face. Followed up Hold by our huntsman. Brain. Now what we can also do, we still have a point we could play it on our steel simtar here. So let's see if there's anywhere important we could play it. On this side of the board, these guys have two attack, two attack, and one attack. That's good for five. That's not enough to kill out the hive defender by itself. Our guard over here has four defense left and so far they can only do three points of attack but what I want to do is keep my offensive cards alive so I'm gonna boost the tiger so he's got better health then we'll pass our turn that's exactly what we wanted to happen Now, we can start playing a little more offense. Not that I think we need it anymore. So we'll smack him in the face for six. And you then won't three. Foil my plan. And the final three. Once they dispatched the beasts, they heard a whimpering sound. Under a nearby bush, lay a cowering wolf pup. Did they take it in? Okay, so we've got to choose uh, a two-cost snow wolf for one and three. Uh, when summoned, we play, it's a plus two, plus zero, while you have the most creatures in this lane. Not when it's summoned, I'm sorry, it just, when we have the more creatures in the lane, this will bump up to a 3-3. Three, three. Or we pick the 3 cost action cast out. It is prophecy, which means you may play this for free when drawn from rune loss. And the effect is unsummoned. It means it will take a card from play and put it into our owner's hand. This one, I feel like, can be a lot more beneficial than this one. Now granted, this one is used once, but... It'll unsummon any creature, no matter how strong. No. They had seen how dangerous these wolves could be. Okay, let's look at wars. We have a five cost for two with prophecy and summon deal one damage to all enemy creatures in this lane. So that's pretty handy. Not much for defense, but it's a good card. This one here is a fantastic card. Five cost action with prophecy, and it will destroy any creature. No other special conditions. It's We've made it. Have. That's Lanath's house, and it's crawling with cultists. Lanath must be in trouble. Come on! Let's see what the special conditions are for this battle. Your opponent begins this battle with a Boethia, Boethia, sorry, cultist in each lane. Oh, 
Okay. Boethius cultists dart towards you. You're too late. By now, the sorceress is leagues from here. By the Queen of Shadows. By the Queen of Shadows. They will bow to the Prince of Plots. Well, okay then. We are now up to 30 points of health when we start the battle, and that's typical. So, we have Shadow Lane on the right, Standard Field Lane on the left. We, if we to play a card out here, that means when we pass the turn, they can kill it right off the right off the bat. So we're gonna play it over here. Hold in the name of the Jarl. Where they can't kill it right off the bat. It'll be hidden till our next turn starts. On your guard. By the Queen of Shadows. By the Queen of Shadows. Foolish mortal. Okay, two points to play, and we only have a card that we can one card that we can play. So Their let's play it. will bring glory to the empire. We got to start working on that card. Pass the turn. By the Queen of Shadows. By the Queen of Shadows. Foolish mortal. If you draw a prophecy card when you lose a rune, you may play it for free. Drag the Grotwood Ambusher to a lane. Okay, now this. When we play this, it's going to deal one damage to all enemy creatures in the lane that we play it in. So both of these creatures over here only have one health, so that's the lane we're going to play it to. There is plenty for all. Ah! They will bow to the Prince of Plots. Their blood will please Boethia. Now, in the standard field lane, you don't have cover, so their card is available available to be attacked right away. When you first play a card, you cannot use it to attack that first, the same round that is played. But in this field lane here, the standard field lane, it doesn't have cover. So let's kill it a card over here. So by Hesse. Kill this card there. We've got three points of magicka to play. We'll play Battle Oak over here. I'm ready for anything. With charge, which means he can Roar and glory. he can attack the round he's played. Any card that has charge can attack the round it's played. And no. smack him for three oh. over here. In the turn. By the Queen of Shadows. Now our opponent has gained board control in the shadow lane over here. So what we'll do is put a guard up. And smack Roar him in the face over here. Pass the turn. By the Queen of Shadows. Okay, so our opponent has played a guard that is has more defense than we can dish out. So what we're going to do is cast that out. It cost him, as you can see in the top left corner of that card, it cost him five points of magicka to play it. We cast this out, it's going to put it back in his hand, so when he wants to play it again, he has to use five magicka again. That means that's other cards that he's not able to play. Now that that's done, I don't feel like I want to give this one shield yet, so let's smack him in the face. Oh, he got a prophecy card. Oh, okay. Prophecy card killed our uh, 
other minion we were going to use, so there's nothing we can do. Pass the turn. Got six points to play. We could buff up our guard a little more with this card. That would make it a four eight. But I don't know that we want to do that just yet. Yeah, let's do it. Then we will play this Bondar one over here. Curse you. Deal one damage to their guard. Then take out their guard with our guard. And pass the turn. <laughs> the valor of Nerevar is with me. Wow, we've lost control of the board all the way around. However, we've got a big strong guard here. It's, uh, since it's guard, it doesn't matter that we're playing second in this lane. Their blood will please, Boethia. I will bathe in your blood. And see, he opted not to go smash his cards against our guard, because they'd have just died. So we have eight points of magic to play. Let's play our support. Chimera, guide us! That boosts the defense of all the cards that we play. And let's play snapping. So we start getting some offense going again. Smack him in the face for four. And pass the turn. By the Queen of Shadows. The valor of Nerevar is with me. Okay, so what we're going to do, we have nine points of magicka, we have three, six, eight, ten points worth of cards. So, what we are going to do... Play this card here, because we want to play our guard over here. When we play this one, it says that when we play another creature, There's we will a gain plan. a point of health. There's always a plan. So it's beneficial to that play that one first. Play this Awaiting card. Awaiting orders. And do we need to play a crushing blow? I think we will on this card here. <laughs> then we will go smack our opponent in the face. End our turn. Enough pain. By the Queen of Shadows, their blood will please Boethia. The valor of Nerevar is with me. Okay, so we have ten points and cards that cost seven. So let's Bond play that God there. Curse you. And we'll just take that one out. We will put our heavy battle axe on our tiger to get a hit, give him a heck of a boost. Smack him in the face. Hit him again and end the battle. Stop. We can tell you where they've taken your friend. Leveled up again. All right. So we should have a card upgrade. And game rewards. But before I open those, folks, this is where I'm going to have to end the episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching. And I hope you come back to watch the next one where we will see what these rewards are. Have a good night.